Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, uh, today I'm going to show you how we're going to do a assembly of a Juki a overlock a MO-6814 now this is a 6814 that means that's the fourth thread the 4S at the end means fourth thread you could also have 6S or 6804 these are the new models of uh, overlock Juki 68 and the sub number is 14 either 16 or 04 now it really doesn't matter which model of this Juki we're doing and as long as the first number starts with 68 uh, we're gonna have the same type of motor and uh, uh, legs and uh, today we had an opportunity to assemble one for one of our customers so I'm gonna go over what we're gonna have and what we're gonna uh, do to assemble. Uh, this is the accessory that comes inside the machine. You have a huge uh, book, owner's manual, and you could see, I'm going to zoom in, see even on this one it has 6804, 6814, or 6816. 04 is 3 thread, 14 is 4 thread, and 16 is 5 thread. This is the book. Uh, it's a pretty thick book. Uh, you'll also have the uh, some papers and manufacturing date uh, and part list. This, this part is very important. Some of you guys just throw them away, but it's really good. It's really good when you need to know uh, if the looper breaks after a while what type of looper, what type of feed, because there are many, many numbers of Juki's out there. Uh, you, could, you, could, you will also get a, a funnel for putting the oil in, a uh, bottle of oil, a two large and a short a, uh, screwdriver flat. Um, needle wrench screw and some needles which the needles are b27 a lot of people ask what style dc27 or b27 and you get them in size 14 which is medium light you get the cover with the juicy logo on it um you get the thread stand five screw thread stand uh, you get the chain, tweezer, some wrench, L wrench for putting the machine together. And this is the box right here that we get everything out. Uh, original Juki box. Just have to show you all that stuff. People love to see the box and they have they love to see the. Okay, so, so this is one of the boxes that comes in there. And you obviously get the machine. All right, you get the um, the um, the trash uh, channel to get it off the uh, trash, and I'm going to tell you where this goes in a minute. Uh, belt cover and the cushion, but I'm going to go over these uh, three important bags of. Um, uh, screws that you see here, the serial screws. Uh, there are two different type of uh, tables out there in the market. And uh, this is the one that comes originally from the Juki manufacturer. And these two, and this is the one that we manufacture ourselves with our tables here. Uh, and they are different. So let me show you the table now. This is the table. Uh, the reason I have not started the video from the beginning to show you this because we did many videos on how to put the table together and this there is no different this is the table same came k legs as you see and our popular motor back there the uh, uh excuse the trash back there uh the uh brushless servo motor 
and this is a fully submerged table meaning the sewing machine sits here and when you close the door it's going to be flat out here so so far we put have put this together the table and then we attach this the lower a smaller table to this table now the table that we are using does not have any hole the holes inside are pre-made inside so we're not going to use these big screws these big, these big screws are good if you have a table that has a hole in them to hold this lower table we are using this kit that is the same as the one that we're using here from the top to bottom right here and this also came inside the machine the plate this is exactly how it's going to be this also came inside the machine and we put it here and we're using also our own screws uh, that is inside our kit when we ship out uh, this is the one that comes with Juki. The reason we didn't use this one is because we make our lower table to match a lot of sewing machine. The top one is only for 6800. As you see here, we have a number on it. This is for 68. But the lower table, you see there are many screws that are not used because this table could be used for a variety of sewing machines. That's why you have all these screws. In the back, you have three holes. You see, the way we make these holes is that you could adjust the motor. The motor is sitting here, and you could see it down here. And we're gonna use, we use our own screws for this plate on the bottom. And this is gonna, the way it's gonna look. And when you close the door, it's gonna be all one big table and when we're gonna come back we're gonna put in the uh, cushion we're gonna put the head and we're gonna go step by step we're gonna show you how it's done so we're gonna do a view from the back for you guys to see excuse the light and uh, I want to thank you guys also for promoting my page a lot of people come in and like our page video channels youtube channels mainly and uh, the reason is you guys that i'm doing all these videos for and remember i told you regarding the trash channel this is it sitting here and the rest goes there so we'll come back and we're going to do the rest of the setup and we'll show you how it's done the legs are k legs we have done this before you could find how to assemble the k legs and uh, again we are not using the these two on this video we're not using these two set of screws because uh, we have a different type of table that does not have a hole on the top these are for the table that has hole from the top to screw in uh, and these are for the lower table to hold the plate and we're not using those because those are big fat screws and we don't like them we like this ones easier and nicer to put on we'll come back and we'll show you how the rest is done thank you so now we put in the cushions here and we're going to continue the head sits right here you go perfectly done you see there are these legs that the table the machine sits on and we're gonna continue so as you see here we have we need to adjust the lower table the way the table is made here that you could adjust the screw and you could go left or right all of these could be adjusted 
could go up we're gonna make this a screw go up and this one so we could make this flat we want this flat let's watch and you want to make sure one thing you're going to make sure that this is lined up obviously it will be the pulley this pulley is going to be lined up with the pulley of the motor down there and uh, what size uh, v-belt what size belt we're going to use 33 and we're going to use number 33 v-belt uh, that is not coming with the sewing machine. The reason it's not coming with the sewing machine is because uh, different tables and different motors have different style of uh, different size. So, see, as we go up, there you go. This is getting now uh, flat. But now we're going to move this over to here too. So it would be. These machines are one of the most common uh, industrial sewing machines in the market. You have the uh, um, the map of the thread right here, and then you have this is has three loopers and four thread and two needles. Or did I make a mistake? Two loopers. I'm sorry. Yes, there is not fifth thread. Two loopers, as you see here. I'm gonna give it some light here. I'm gonna do a close up. It shows you all color coded with the tension, the way it's set up, and uh, this machine in general is for light, medium to medium, heavy sewing, uh, and this is gonna be the stitch. Bring the stitch right here. This is how the stitch is going to look. Now I know there's a plastic bag and there you go. And then as soon as we adjust this, we're going to come back and we do the rest of the setup with you guys. Thank you for watching. Okay, so what we did here, we uh, went and we adjusted the table and the uh, the door. We put the chain on here, and I'm going to show you in the back. We put the belt on. We put the cover on that you could see from here too. We added the. Uh, uh, the pedal, the ball joint, and the, um, the food lifter. Uh, excuse the noise, we're back in the uh, area that we assembled the sewing machine, so there's a lot of noise. And uh, so this is the machine, right here. Next, we're gonna go put in the, the uh, on and off switch, which is uh, not really an on and off switch, is a uh, is the, um, the 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 box, and this is the pedal ball joint. Uh, we did the chain. You just have to wrap the chain up here, and we're gonna come back and we put the we add the other stuff and we drive it and we show you how looks how good it looks. Okay, so just to show you, we turn the table upside down. We have put in the the drawer. There are three screws to the right, three screws to the left, and uh, we have put in the the trash, and we have done the the wiring in the back. So. You gotta make sure you got like maybe half an inch or three quarters of an inch from this side 
and this side leave a lot of room for the drawer again if you could see right here the hole on the lower table it's much bigger so you could adjust the table to the left and to the right again we have a lot of noise in the background some sport going on but uh, this is the best we could do uh, and we know you love it you want the natural uh, videotaping as it goes on and we're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna run the machine Okay, this is a fully set up uh, sewing machine right here. The only thing we have to do is here. We already set up the uh, the thread stand, and you have the thread. And now this is a uh, our most popular process motor, which comes with a LED light as well that you could run in the back. So we're gonna have a light that is gonna go in the back right up here. We're gonna plug it in. So the machine is going reverse now. If you take a look, we're gonna show. See, it's going in reverse because there is a setup that we could do. See, we gotta go the other way. Very simple. We'll see. this one going this way make it go the other way and now by the way this is a four thread So done deal, it still needs some adjustment to the thread that you could do from here. This is too tight. Wow. And the setup is done, ready to go. Again, this is a uh, setup for Juki MO6800 series with the uh, new tech uh, direct dr uh, brushless motor right here. This is the direction and then with this one you could go high and low on the speed and in some cases that you have needle positioning, this is for needle positioning. System. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like our videos, YouTube channel thumbs up and let us know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching. website goldstartool.com